In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the <coughs> Pet Store Virtual Machine web application so you can complete the assignment 2 or the lab 8. So, <coughs> the first thing I have to do is to create the new virtual machine to load the Pet Store apps that uh, you can download uh, in the format of the ISO. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, create the new virtual machine. The name is a uh, pet store. Okay, so I can choose the different location if you want. <coughs> I will put the, in the folder. The name is a uh, pet store. Two one two. Okay, <coughs> this is a folder, and uh, the type is a Linux. Okay, the version uh, you can just choose uh, any 64-bit uh, uh, Linux. Other, is there any? Yep, here you go. <coughs> it's not really matter. And then the memory you can set uh, just minimum 505 MB. Okay, then we don't need to add the virtual hard disk. So click <coughs> create and then uh, continue. Okay, so now we already have the pet store to want to. So we're going to customize the setting because we are not going to connect to the internet. So we're going to configure the network to use the host uh, only adapter. And then also uh, we're going to uh, boot uh, this uh, VM from the ISO image. Okay. So click this one, and then after that, uh, <coughs> choose the uh, this file or just create the visual of this file here. Okay, I'm going to because this one is no longer exists. Okay, so uh, we're going to uh, add. Okay, uh, the location is uh, under the. Where yeah. that's located under this. Yep, here you go. So we add the ISO image here. Okay. And then uh, refresh. Okay, so uh, selected already. Choose. Okay, good. <coughs> Click uh, OK. Then we are ready to run the virtual machine <coughs> and uh, start. Okay, <coughs> so just press enter to start the booting process. This is a simple uh, auto deploy from the ISO image. Loaded the web applications to the memory, so we don't need the virtual disk. <coughs> okay, so uh, let's uh, check the. IP address, yeah, one and two, one six eight fifty six dot one zero eight. Yeah, this one is the IP address. Okay, uh, then uh, we're going to uh, start the Kali. Or oh, it's already started. No, it's not started. So uh, show. Okay. I'm going to put the pet store I saw uh, the virtual machine here on the right. Okay, side by side like this. And uh, lock on in a Kali. 
antenna let me open the another terminal okay so uh, ping 108 okay connected yeah. so we managed to get the but uh, <coughs> to uh, log on to the bed store uh, web application using the browser you need to use the FQDN so when you run the HTTP like this and then 1 and 2 168.56.108 okay yeah so cannot uh, connect it yeah. you need to get the connections to the uh, web application using FQDN so let me open the command and then after that uh, try ping www dot uh, pet store dot net okay cannot eh? <coughs> because the host file does not have uh, this uh, entry so we're going to uh, run the sudo nano slash etc and then slash uh, host okay enter the password then uh, we're going to uh, add the entry here which is the one and two one six eight dot 56 108 as www dot the pet store dot net okay so uh, control x to exit yes enter okay now you test again so this time should be able to ping with the name so the dns uh, works correctly okay now you open again the browser after that the uh, log on okay so we able to connect yeah. in case uh, you want to uh, connect uh, using the your host machine the browser here yeah, in the Windows or uh, from the Windows 7 yeah for example you want to do that uh, connections from the Windows 7 which uh, I already have uh, here we open the browser and then after that uh, you ping this eh? ping www.petstore.net ok cannot eh? because uh, the host file not configured correctly so I'm going to open the notepad with the administrator Okay, after that uh, file open C Windows System32 and then uh, drivers etc. Okay, show all files. Okay, this is the file. Then uh, we add the entry here. So one and two, one six eight dot fifty six dot one zero eight okay yeah then uh, save this file okay now you uh, ping again so now this time uh, okay yeah so you can browse with the browser in the Windows 7 VM or in the host machine yeah www.petstore.net uh, okay yeah so you can start uh, exploiting this uh, web application using the browser in the Kali or browser in the Windows 7 uh, feature machine okay so you can open the manual uh, for guideline about uh, this uh, pet store there are many walkthrough that you can also download from the internet to uh, find the vulnerability of uh, this yeah. but uh, one of the best is uh, using the Nikto <coughs> so here you can actually uh, connect to the Kali after that uh, you open the command line then here you use the 
uh, oke okay. for example uh, nick2 ya yeah. after that uh, minus a h then uh, www dot pet store dot net okay <coughs> so it will discover uh, many vulnerabilities that uh, you can uh, find the references like uh, osvdb 3268 yeah? and then also uh, yeah robots dot uh, in the backup folder and then the uh, cgi bin yeah images and then uh, other things yeah that uh, the the vulnerability discover in this uh, uh, target uh, web application www.pestornet or you can use uh, nmap and then uh, www. Uh, you can also use the vulnerability tools uh, script yeah, that uh, come with the nmap so currently it's uh, open port 80 403 and also mysql so this uh, may be uh, uh, useful for the trying the SQL injection or using the SQL map. Okay, so you will be doing that uh, in the uh, activity lab 8 and also the uh, assignment 2. Okay, thank you for watching.